Okay, well today I'm going to start uh, measuring up and drawing up the rough uh, design for my spaces um, or adapter plates to go from the Nissan K-Frame to the Jumbuck. Now what you're going to need to get this done is tape measure, paper, pen and a set of vernier calipers. These ones aren't great, I think I paid 20 bucks for them but they're good enough for this purpose. So, let's get started. Now, the very first thing I want to do is I need to know the width of this bar here. So I want to make this full width. So, grab him there. Yeah. Where are we? Got three inches. Bang on the money. Three inch bar. I know that's going to be 75 mil. So that's, I can work that out later. Three inches, 75 mil, that works. Now to get the spacing between my holes, the easiest way is to go from the outer edge of a hole to the outer edge of a hole. And that will still give you the same distance as the insides of the hole. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so that came up to a two inch hole space. Now the next thing you wanna do is grab your vernier calibers, make sure they're zeroed, grab your little size, which is your internal measuring size, oh, whack him up in the hole. And I have 13.23 millimeters, which is probably backwards because I'm using the front camera to film this. Um, well, 13.24 it came to. So, I'm going to go 13.25 as a guess, and I'll probably drill those holes out in the um, thing to probably a 14 mil hole, just so I've got a little bit of little bit of wiggle room in that hole. So from here, next thing I need to know is the hole size for that. Which I mean, I know there are zero. Um, I know there are. 18mm head on an M12 bolt. I just want to check. Oh, so that's actually an 18mm hole. So there is actually a lot of slack in there. Because um, I know I pulled a 12mm shaft bolt out of it. So, I will be putting... 18 mil holes into my plate. And finally, the last thing I need to do is grab my tape measure and go from the outer edge of one hole to the inner edge of the other, a straight line across the engine bay. And boom. That's all going to get in the way. One moment, I need to move things. So I went ahead and measured that. Um, I couldn't be stuffed getting a camera in the right spot to film it. Um, so I came up with 38 inches between those two holes. 38 inches. So that's close enough. Um, it's actually quite incredible how some of these things are lining up to inches so well. So now the next thing I need to do is measure how far the K-frame is back from the front of the car. So that's a pretty simple, if you can use a tape measure, you can do that one. So I'm not going to um, explain how to do that. I'm just going to do it. Okay, so I've gone and taken a few more measurements, and from here we can basically see all the measurements we need to CAD this up. Because I've got how it's going to look in my head, so I don't really need it to um, need to draw a picture. So I know my bar is three inches thick with a two inch hole spacing, 13.25 mil holes. That's on the front. My K-frame holes are 18 mil big, with 38 inches between the K-frame holes. Uh, it's 150 mil drop from the chassis rail to the K-frame. However, the mounts on the K-frame actually sit 85 mil proud of the that K-frame support. So for that, all I'd do is go 150 minus 85 is how much I need to drop my um my brace. So those are the measurements you need. You can take many smaller measurements and put them all together. That's sometimes the easiest way to do things. So yeah. Let's, uh, let's go get this done up in CAD.
Okay, so here we are. We've got our Autodesk Fusion 360 window open. Now I've already went ahead and named my project up the top here. And this is the Proton uh, K-Frame conversion plate. And I just want to check my orientation. I've got Z up on here, X across, and I'm at the front. So what I want to do is go over to the sheet metal workshop. I want to create a sketch. And I want to go on this base plane here. So this will take a moment to uh, catch up. Okay. Now firstly, what I want to do is I want to push my S button. Make myself a rectangle. That is 75 mil across at the front and 150 mil wide. In fact, I could probably even go 250 mil wide. Okay. So I've got him there. There he is. And I now know that I want to get a two inch hole spacing. Measure out from there. One inch. Fusion is great because you can type in, in so my projects are all set in um in millimeters, but I can type in one inch and it will actually give me an inch. And I was going to go with 14 mil holes, so I push the C button. And then I hover over my point there. Go 14 mil. Enter. Fourteen mil, and enter. Okay, so now what we've done is we've formed ourselves a shape, and this is going to be the basis of what our sheet metal part is. So from here, sketch, and I go up here to the flange tool up in the top left. Click on him, and I click on my sketch, highlighting the face I want. Now I want this to be in five mil, so I will bring him over. Make him five millimeters, because I want this to be a nice, thick, beefy plate. Okay, now I have a five mil plate that will perfectly match my front half. However, I'm not really done yet. Now, that's my phone going off. I'll just mute you. Um, so, from here, what I want to do is I want to go down, so I need to go rearwards by, uh, where am I? Hundred and fifty mil. So I'm going to construct myself an offset plane off this back edge. Back one hundred and fifty mil. So now I know how far back I got to go. And I will also need to go down 65 mil. So I'll make another one of those and bring it down. So, so because I've already got my dimension set to mils, I can just type in 65, 150, etc. So what I want to do is I click on this edge here, hit my front again, and this is where Fusion is really cool. It knows when you want to create a profile or whether you want to create um, a bend in your sheet metal. So I will go down. And I want this to come back at a 45 degree angle, I think. That's my guess. Okay. okay that's that's going to be way too far. Okay, so it's too far below on the bottom, not far enough on the top. So, what we can do, this is where I just, me personally, I just test and adjust. So, and you can also type in angle so I want 45 divided by 2 I get 45 divided by 2 so that's giving us about the right length and it's giving us about the right depth okay so I hit the OK button sweet and now I'm going to slip that upper face. I want to make him, let's say, 50 mil deep. But I want to make him the opposite of that angle. So I've got to remember what that angle is. 45 slash 2. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have the basis of an adapter plate. So, what I do from here is I want to know. So I need to be 38 inches wide. So let's 
perfect. That line to that line. And I know 250mm wide. Okay. So I can click on him and save him. Now here's the cool bit. I can now go and select this edge. And I hit my extrude button or my E button. Now I know I have to be 38 inches wide total. So each half is going to be button, touch two, then I want a minus 125 mil, which is half my 250. And I hit the OK button, and that's brought me out here. And I do the thing over here. Now, that has given me what should be a 38 inch wide um, hole. So, let's have a look. 38 inches um, should be about 965.2 millimeters. Now, I go here and hit the inspect button again. Select him. Select him, 965.2. So I want to go to 968.2, so I need to bring the outsides out 3 mil. And that will give me my whole centers. Three. Now I'll go back over here. Bring in. Okay, cool. So that's giving me my hole centers. However, I know that mine to be 18 mil. So now I'm going to add 18 mil. I'm going to select him again, extrude, and now I want to go. Once the computer catches up, it's really hard to record. So I'm going to go 18 mil plus at least another inch, 25 mil. So that gives me 43 mil. So remember my safety gaps and stuff and just type them in as numbers, rather than trying to remember exactly that that was going to be 43 mil. 18 plus 25. Okay. Now, this has given me, and I will turn off my um, reference planes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch now I want my um my holes to be dead in the center here. Do I find the center of this plane? Noise Fusion doesn't like to play the game. Let's put writing and stuff in your way. Where you want to click? Okay. So now I've got him. So that'll give me that's the center of this way, and then across there is the center of that way. So select him and go out. 38 inches divided by 2, and that puts me there. So, yeah, 38 divided by 2 puts me there. Okay, now I want an 18 mil hole. So I actually came up to, yeah, 18 mil. Same on the other side. There is a mirror function. I, I find it quicker to do this way. Now I select him by clicking inside the circle. Come over here, select him by clicking inside the circle. And now my extrude function that I used before, I got both of them selected. Now I'm extruding. This is the, a really cool feature. So I then select extent type to object yeah. come 
underneath and select this lower face. And there we go. I cut him and now I have my uh, my holes exactly where I want them. So I'm going to uh, pause this. So I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to uh, do some more modifications to it and I'll get back to you. Okay, so all I've done is add some, um, this is one thing Fusion does poorly, is it? I added this piece of brace here to help spread the load out a bit more and add some integrity to it. Now, what I want to do is I want this and grip the, uh, the front of my uh, chassis cross member. So, I'm going to come here and I do a infringe on this area here. I want to make my bend position on the outside. So I've got 25 mil. Now what the bend position does, I'll come in here, I'll change my bend position and he's going to be inside, outside, adjacent or tangent. So for this, I'm happy with outside. So that side, that face will remain the same size. So those holes will remain in the same spot and that will just sit nicely across the front. So that'll help me when I sit her in place and line her up. So I hit OK. And that is, that is front uh, adapter made out of five mil plate. So what I would do from here is I would go to They've moved it. I know they've moved it. Uh, create flat pattern. And now from here I've got to select a stationary face. So I'm just going to select that one. I hit OK. I'll think about it for a minute. And there we go. So this is the file that I will send off because I can then export this up here as a DXF file, I can also export it in other uh, formats if I paid for the uh, manufacturing version. It shows here that that is all my uh, my lines. Is that DXF will tell them where they need to bend it anyway, um, or you can actually cut like keyways slots so they know to bend along the slots, all that sort of stuff. If you want to save some weight, so finish my flat pattern here and I'll show you the last cool trick that Fusion can do. So I right click here on my body, I go up to properties, I've already got her set as steel. So I go down here, it shows me my mass is 6,151.564 grams or 6 kilos. So this adapter plate will weigh in at 6 kilos which is fine location. Um, I could trim some weight away through I don't see the need, um, but yeah. So thank you for watching.